Hello guys, uh, Manny here from Manny's How To Workshop uh, with the video today on repairing an old uh, wood cast iron stove uh, leg and that's what that is right there and basically this little bracket uh, broke off. Uh, my customer said that somebody was handling the stove and they uh, dropped it somehow and it, it broke right there on uh, that joint right there. Let me see if I can get closer. So basically from this side all the way over to this side right here, that's where it cracked. And what I did, I went ahead and preheated this in my toaster oven. Because uh, if you're going to weld on cast, you want to make sure you preheat it. And uh, that's what I did. And I'm going to be using this thick glove, welding glove here to handle it uh, in a second. But yeah, so I also did is, if you can see right here where the knife point is pointing, I went ahead and I grounded down this edge a little bit on, uh, on this piece and on this piece on the opposite side. And then what that does is creates a nice little gap so that when you're welding, you get uh, better penetration. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hook up my welder and uh, we'll go on to the next step. All right. Hold on a second. Okay. So I went ahead and turned on my welder and I'm using the uh, Lincoln Electric uh, Weld Pack 100, which is more than sufficient for this job. And my settings are wire speed is about 3.4 and my amp so voltage is set on the highest which in this one it's it's D which is the highest you can get for the amperage but I already got my ground clamp on there and I'm gonna go ahead and start welding this joint here and then come over here flip it over and do the same thing because you don't want to weld continuous what it'll do is it'll pull um, the piece you know towards the back even though I put some tack welds, I put one here and then there's one here on the bottom and one there. Uh, just so that I could you know, put it in the toaster oven to heat up. So I go ahead and do that and then I'll show you uh, what it looks like. Okay, so I went ahead and finished the welds. And you can see right there that, you know, it's, I got it on there pretty good, like I said on the front side and uh, the back side and here's the back side you know obviously I'm not worried about you know what the back side looks like but uh, you know like I said I had 35 thousandths uh, wire a uh, solid wire using uh, CO2 uh, gas on my welder and this is going to be fine uh, for the, what it's going to be doing. It's just going to be sitting underneath the stove, you know. And like I said, yeah, that's still hot, obviously, you know, from the oven and the welding. So, and then you, ne you need to let this cool off naturally. Uh, no quenching, no nothing. Um, because that will make a stronger weld. Now, I may come back later and, you know, either grind this down a little bit but I'm not going to. I'm just going to wait until it cools off. Um, have, I'll see if I have some high temperature black paint here. And just go ahead and paint over the welds. Uh, I may, like I said, grind down just some of the, the bumps. Like right there. Or maybe on, the, on this uh, end right here. On that edge right there. But that's it. And paint it up and then... Like I said, let it cool down all day, and then go from there. So there you go. A quick and easy fix for an old uh, cast iron wood stove. And this here, I have to ground down just to be able to put my ground clamp on and then paint that also. But I think she'll be happy uh, with the finished product. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, Put them down below in the comments section, and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Uh, thanks for watching again, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new and upcoming videos. Thanks. Take care, guys.